Good morning, everyone. Our opening song will be the servant song. Will you let me be your servant? Let me be as Christ to you. Pray that I may have the grace to let you be my servant too. We are pilgrims on a journey. We are travelers on the road. We are here to help each other walk the mile and bear the load. I will hold the Christ light for you in the night time of your fear. I will hold my hand out to you, speak the peace you long to hear. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, my brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. As we gather on this feast of Saint Scholastica, we ask her intercession. As we pray in a special way for the repose of the souls of Frank Serena, Donna and Jan Sterna, and the special intention for Kirk Smith. Gathering our prayers into one, let us recognize our sinfulness before our God and turn to him for mercy, for he is full of gentleness and compassion. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at God's right hand, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. As we celebrate anew the memorial of the Virgin Saint Scholastica, we pray, O Lord, that following her example, we may serve you with pure love and happily receive what comes from loving you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Genesis. In the day that the Lord God made the earth and the heavens, when no plant of the field was yet in the earth and no herb of the field had yet sprung up, for the Lord God had not caused it to rain upon the earth and there was no one to till the ground. But a stream would rise from the earth and water the whole face of the ground. Then the Lord God formed man from the dust of the earth and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and the man became a living being. And the Lord God planted a garden in Eden in the east, and there he put the man whom he had formed. Out of the ground the Lord God made to grow every tree that is pleasant to the sight and good for food. The tree of life also in the midst of the garden, and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. The Lord God took the man and put him in the garden of Eden to till it and to keep it. And the Lord God commanded the man, You may eat freely of every tree in the garden, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat. For in the day that you eat it, you shall die. The word of the Lord. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. Bless the Lord, O oh, my soul. O oh, Lord, my God, you are very great. You are clothed with honor and majesty, wrapped in light as with a garment. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. All living creatures look to you to give them their food in due season. When you give to them, they gather it up. When you open your hand, they are filled with good things. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. When you take away their breath, they die and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Your word, O Lord, is truth. Make us holy in the truth. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus called the crowd and said to them, Listen to me, all of you. 
and understand. There is nothing outside a person that by going in can defile, but the things that come out are what defile. Let anyone with ears to hear listen. When Jesus had left the crowd and entered the house, his disciples asked him about the parable. He said to them, Then do you also fail to understand? Do you not see that whatever goes into a person from outside cannot defile, since it enters not the heart but the stomach, and goes out into the sewer? Thus Jesus declared all foods clean. He said, It is what comes out of a person that defiles. For it is from within, from the human heart, that evil intentions come. Fornication, theft, murder, adultery, lavorous, wickedness, deceit, licentiousness, envy, slander, pride, folly. All these evil things come from within, and they defile a person. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the gospel wipe away our sin. Amen. Friends, it's very clear what Jesus is speaking of, the intentions of the heart. What are our intentions of the heart? For many of us, we blame the externals for what we do, what we say, and what we fail to do. But Jesus makes it very clear it's the internal, that our agenda needs to be that of being holy and pure of heart. This laundry list of sins that Jesus speaks of, it's easy to fall into these traps, isn't it? It's easy to gossip and slander others when we become jealous of them or envious of them. It's easy to take our sexuality and use it for what is not holy. It's easy to use our positions of power to be condescending, to take advantage of others. Jesus says at the heart of the matter, is the heart. What are our intentions? What's our hidden agenda? If our agenda is to live a holy life and to build the kingdom, then I look for examples to lift others up. But when I become threatened by other, when I'm unhappy with my own life, then I look to bring anger, resentment, jealousies, etc. And we don't want to do that. We, wish, we wouldn't want to do that if we are disciples of the golden rule, treating others the way we want to be treated. And so what a beautiful opportunity, friends, again on the eve of Lent, to really take ownership of my heart, my intentions, my agenda. Am I truly following what Jesus is asking me to do? Am I being saintly in my decision-making, like St. Scholastica teaches us, this humble virgin of the church who wanted to stop at nothing other than pleasing God in her daily life? What a beautiful example for us that right here on February the 10th, I want to please God today. Everything I do is going to be modeled on the teachings of Jesus. The way I talk to people, the fact that I'm not just going to pray for my own needs, but that of others. When someone is rude to me, I'm going to kill them with kindness. And I'm going to love them, even if they don't love me. That's making a conscious decision that no matter what happens to us on February the 10th, it's going to be a good day. It's going to be a holy day. It's going to be a day that I will be proud of when I stand at the throne. And when we break it down, on a per-day basis, as Jesus so beautifully does for us in the Lord's Prayer. He's worried about being holy today. Instead of worrying about being holy for the next 60 years of my life, let's just worry about being holy today. When my intentions are pure and today, today's going to be a good day. And tomorrow, February 11th, Our Lady of Lourdes. I'm going to be holy tomorrow. And when we Break it down day by day by day. All of a sudden, our holiness increases by the grace of God. So let's put our hidden agendas aside. Let's cast aside everything that is not of God. And let's model our lives on the teaching that Jesus so powerfully gives to us today. Let us pray. 
Trusting in our God who created us, we bring our prayers before him. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray that the church may continue to be sanctified and strengthened through the transforming grace of God, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray that the Lord may look graciously upon all who desire and strive for purity of heart for the sake of their salvation, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all who have experienced violence or hatred of any kind, that they may be consoled by the peace and healing of Jesus, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the hearts of those of us gathered here, that we may be purified from all that is evil within us, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and the diaconate, especially in our great diocese, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for an end to the spread of the coronavirus, for all those affected by the virus, that they may be healed by Jesus, the divine physician, for all frontline and medical workers, that God may keep them safe, and for all who have died as a result of the virus and their families left behind, that God may be their comfort and peace, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all who have died. We remember especially Frank and Donna, Jan and the holy souls in purgatory, and all who have died. May they live forever in God's holy presence, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the intentions we verbalize to God from the silence of our hearts, God of all creation, we thank you for the gift of life and everything that sustains us. Hear and answer our prayers this day according to your most holy will. We ask this in all things through Christ our Lord. Saint Scholastica, pray for us. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mingling of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine which we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, of my iniquity. Cleanse me of my many sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. As we proclaim your wonders, O Lord, in the Virgin Saint Scholastica, we humbly implore your majesty that as her merits are pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favor in your sight. Through Christ our Lord. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. My Jesus' mercy. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Gerard, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember your servants, Frank and Donna and Jan, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who were united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her husband, with your blessed apostles, with Saint Scholastica, Saint Catherine of Alexandria, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be always with you. Turn and offer one another a sign of the Lord's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us your peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free us by this your most holy body and blood, from all our sins and from all that is evil. Keep us faithful to your commandments, and never let us be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. May the blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen.
For those at home receiving Jesus in a spiritual communion, I invite you to pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Renewed by partaking of this divine gift, we pray, O Lord our God, that by the example of Saint Scholastica, bearing in our body the death of Jesus, we may strive to hold fast to you alone, through Christ our Lord. Let us turn to our Blessed Mother as we pray. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go forth in the peace and love of Jesus Christ. I will weep when you are weeping, when you laugh, I'll laugh with you. I will share your joy and sorrow, 
till we've seen this journey through. When we sing to God in heaven, we shall find such harmony, born of all we've known together, of Christ's love and agony. Will you let me be your servant? Let me be as Christ to you. Pray that I may have the grace to let you be my servant too. God bless you, everyone. Have a good day.